is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am super excited about today's layout. So, um, today's layout is for the Cut to You design team, as well as Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, day 14. Um, so, today's my birthday, and I love how this layout turned out. I did think that maybe I needed to do a layout about me. Um, but I saw this spooky season cut file from Cut to You, and I was like, oh, this is so cute. I just cannot wait to turn this into a layout for my nephew, Rowan. So no pictures of me today. <laughs> so I cut it out on some uh, wood grain paper. And then I'm going to add this white cardstock. So I cut it out so that I could actually use the background as a border. Um, so I think it's about 11 inches. And I <laughs> decided that I didn't put this down very straight. And so <laughs> I try to do it again and then realize it's still not right. So I actually scrapped this piece of white paper because I just keep ruining it because I just keep tearing it up. So you can see in the sketch that it has this like very central design, very horizontal through the cross middle of the paper. And I was like, you know what? This is perfect because this cut file, not only is it a title, but it is going to be right there in the middle of my page. And the photos um, are in a circular shape, and we'll get to what I do with my photos here in a minute. Not something I normally do, but um, love how it turned out. So, I decide that it needs a little bit of this orange between the white and the wood grain. So that way I have a, a double mat. It looks like there's only one mat in the, um, in the sketch. Um, and did I tell you the sketch was from Allison Krogsgaard? I don't think I did because I would remember almost butchering that name. So super cool sketch. And I don't know, it screams cut file to me. So I'll be very interested to see how many people um, use a cut file. And I will definitely be doing this sketch again <laughs> with a different cut file, I am sure. So you can see how it even has the title like in the cut file, which is super cool. So here is my cut file. It says spooky season. And I went ahead and cut the inside pieces out of a orange glitter cardstock. And so I am just going to set that right in. Now in the sketch, you can see that it's supposed to be in a shape, your photo, and I don't usually cut mine into a shape, but these two super cute photos fit right into the ghosts perfectly. And they're so cute. They're just so cute. So since I have those in there, I decided that I was going to take that square that I um, cut out of the orange paper and I'm just gonna put it as a wonky square on my layout. And I love how that looks. And then I am going to glue down my cut file. Now, <laughs> I probably should have played with my embellishments a little bit before I glued it down, but I didn't. Um, and it all works out just fine. I didn't have to pull anything up, which is good. Um, but potentially I was like, mm, there might have been a little bit that I could have done. So I'm going to pop that right there in the center. And then I am going to take a little bit of time and I'm just going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And initially, at first, I add a little bit to the backing, but then I add it to the inside and then plop it down. And look, it's so cute. So here are my extra ghost cut pieces um, that I didn't use because 
I, I put the photos there. So I am going to use one of them up there in the, in the upper hand corner. And then what I did is I don't, I don't do a lot of Halloween. Um, this is really as spooky <laughs> of a Halloween as I get my nephew in a cute puppy, um, outfit and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law in cute puppy outfits. Like that's as spooky as I'm going to get. But I do have a few pieces of ephemera and stickers from a couple of Halloween collections. I, I probably bought them on sale at Tuesday morning, um, knowing that eventually <laughs> I do Halloween pictures, but they're not spooky. It's all cute. It's all cutesy. So I decided to do a cluster up there in the top with the little ghost and the little jack-o'-lantern. And then I'm going to make a little cluster down here with a journaling splot. Splot. It's a splot. It's not a spot. Um, a journaling spot so that um, my sister-in-law can do a little bit of journaling. And then just to add a little bit of pizzazz, I decided to embellish the O with a couple of crystals. Uh, well, I guess they're not, I don't know. They look like crystals, they're just colorful. Um, one says Hallow's Eve, um, and then two other little tiny word stickers. Now I did think that I should get some candy on this layout. So those pieces of ephemera down by the journaling spot are candy corn. And I have learned that you either love candy corn or you hate candy corn. Um, I don't like candy corn. <laughs> it's not that I hate it. I just, I just don't like it. Um, but the funny thing is I will eat one of those little pumpkin candies and I like them better. But really, I just need one because it's really just, they're all just balls of sugar. And I know people say that each, each color of the candy corn tastes different, but it all just tastes like sugar to me. <laughs> so added a couple more stickers and that is going to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out the Cut to You blog as well as the Facebook group and the shop to get your hands on your spooky season cut files and then check out the playlist for Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. I do have some close-ups um, and these close-ups will be over on the blog as well. I am so happy how this turned out. I can't even tell you. So there is my layout again. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. So remember to wear your crown and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.